Welcome to How to Revise Our Race at Spen Valley High School. Go. Hello, I'm Mrs Cole. Now I'm going to talk to you firstly a little bit about what the GCSE exam is actually on. So there's two papers. The first paper is the Christian paper. So it's religion and ethics through Christianity. This is all being covered in year 10. So the first bit is Christian beliefs. It's talking a bit about the Trinity, creation, the incarnation, Jesus's life. Then we did a unit on marriage and the family. Um, so we talked about marriage, divorce, sexual relationships, family planning, um, Chris, living the Christian life, which was to do with worship, pilgrimage and prayer, and matters of life and death, which is like abortion, euthanasia, uh, life after death, um, and the issues around the natural world. Mr. Granger, can you tell us what is on paper two, please? Absolutely. On paper two, which is everything we've covered in year 11 so far, we've been looking at Buddhist beliefs. So we've been focusing on the life of the Buddha so far, um, the Four Noble Truths, the Eightfold Path, the Three Marks of Existence, um, and we've just started focusing on crime and punishment. So looking at how Buddhists, or what the Buddhist views are on justice, on peace, on um, the aims of punishment, and also on uh, forgiveness. Uh, the topics we haven't covered yet, which are in red on here, are living the Buddhist life, so looking at different forms of meditation, chanting, festivals, and what Buddhists do when they're mourning. And then finally, it, we'll be looking at peace and conflict. So peace, peacemaking, pacifism, ju the just war theory, and issues surrounding conflict. Um, here are some top tips for revision. So our top tips for revision, you need to learn all of the keywords, for example, Dukkha. Um, you need to use flashcards or a mind map to summarise details of the topic. Um, please keep testing yourself on key religious beliefs and their importance to religious people today. And really emphasise it's about how things are important for religious people. Um, in your exam, always read the question and underline any command words. Uh, for example, explain or evaluate. And when it comes to question D, which is a 15 mark question, um, they're going to ask you, or they may ask you about non-religious attitudes as well. So please check that what, what they specifically want you to include in the question. Is it Christian beliefs? Is it Buddhist beliefs? Is it non-religious or humanist beliefs? So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit now about the revision package that we've put together for your child. Um, firstly, all students have been given a revision guide and we've been working on producing a website that's specifically just for religious studies at Spen Valley High School. So the website, which a child um, has got access to already, is www.religiousstudiesrevision.com. And if we just have a look, um, we can see then that it's um, got some top information, it's got links to websites and videos, and it's got some strategies on how to revise, um, because it's an important skill, it's not just reading, you actually have to be doing something with the notes. Um, and as well, it's got links to the different papers, uh, it's got past paper questions on, and it's got actually revision notes as well. So that, that's part of the package that we are putting together um, for revision for your child. What can parents and carers do to help revise in this subject? Um. You can encourage your child to complete exam questions given to them in their revision guide and also on our website. Um, using the revision guide or your child's revision notes, you can test them. Um, on the quotes for each topic, there are a series of quotes that they need to learn for each of the subtopics, um, which some students can find quite challenging. Key religious and non-religious beliefs in each topic and the importance of these beliefs for religious people. So the mock exam. So students are going to sit a mock exam, uh, which is going to last an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, it's going to cover the following themes. Christian beliefs, marriage and the family, matters of life and death, and Buddhist belief. These are all the topics that we've covered so far, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it and you found it uh, quite informative. That's goodbye from me. And goodbye from me.